Kevin or Brick Ninja, and today we're going to take a look at my Time Cruisers build. Uh, wait, you don't know what Time Cruisers is? How do you not know what Time Cruisers is? Time Cruisers was the most influential theme of its time. It ran all the way from 1993 to, well, to still in 1993. It, it, didn't, it didn't last more than a year. Okay, while it might be short-lived, it had some amazing sets. There's this time-traveling ship that... Okay, this one's a little weird, um, but there also was this ship, and this one... Okay, that one's even weirder. I really, really don't know what's going on with that set. Okay, so we'll take a look at the Time Cruiser's base. That one is an absolute mess. I have no idea what's going on with this set. It is so weird. So, Time Cruisers was a terrible line of sets that ran in the early 90s. And even as a kid, I had a few of them. I've got a little bit of nostalgia for them. But even then, I didn't really know what was going on. Uh, it was these people, supposedly, they, they traveled through time, but all they had to show for it was a bunch of hats. There was a bunch of, like, castle hats, and then some sci-fi hats, but it was just kind of a mess. So, I decided to do a Time Cruisers build because Brick Central had a contest where you were supposed to submit a photo, and it was to depict or involve a build relating to one of LEGO's classic themes. So my original plan was to do Dragon Masters, because I love Castle, and I really liked the Dragon Masters sets as a kid. And as I was thinking about it, I kind of realized that a lot of people were going to do Pirates or Castle or Classic Space, so I wanted to do something different that was going to stand out a little bit more. And after a bunch of thought and kind of mixing some different ideas around, I came up with Time Cruisers, and they were going to be jumping through a portal stealing a hat, because they have a huge collection of hats. And how would they get that? Well, they must have gone through time, future and past, to steal all those hats. So, this build was originally going to be significantly larger. It was going to have the castle hallway on one side, with Timmy the Time Traveler jumping through a portal, going into the warehouse with the time cruisers. It didn't take too long before I realized that was going to be kind of boring with the seam right there and the portal not being visible. So I decided to build two portals and two castle hallways. So we we're going to have Timmy jumping into the portal and then we would also show the portal here and we'd have Timmy jumping out. And so I thought this would be a much more dynamic action sequence and not quite as boring as straight line just to jump through. There's just a hole in the wall. This was going to be much more complex built. I went through, built the whole thing, and I was fairly happy with it. And then I took a photo, and it looked terrible. It looked absolutely terrible. So there's a couple of reasons why this looked terrible. First off, I was lighting this completely wrong. But more importantly you didn't know what the subject was, you didn't know where the focal point was, there was just too much going on, and then I guess the third reason why this was going to be absolutely terrible was I was going to have to crop it so it would be super narrow and really long, and that just would not present well on any platform, and just wasn't going to be that great. So, I was very frustrated, but eventually I resigned myself to, well, this isn't really going to work, so let me try it with half the build, just in the warehouse, looking through the portal, into the castle hallway, and so I took some photos, and it still looked terrible. I mean, you knew what was going on now, but it still looked really bad. So, I was quite quite a bit discouraged at this point, and it looked bad because I, in my mind, was going to do realistic lighting, and so that meant a well-lit warehouse, and then the hallway with the castle scene, 
was going to be lit just by the torches and it was going to be kind of dark and gloomy and so you'd see the contrast of the lighting uh, but it wasn't interesting you the, the the whole photo just looked flat and boring and uninteresting and I did the entire build in less than a day and so the last part I built actually was the warehouse and so I was at that point kind of getting to cutting some corners running a little bit low on some white pieces and so it isn't that great of a build it just straight up the warehouse itself is pretty boring I like the portal build, I like some of the other stuff, but the warehouse itself was pretty boring, and I took well-lit photos, and you could tell that it was boring, and it looked flat and uninteresting. So I don't remember exactly what led to this, but eventually I decided to try to reverse the lighting. Having the castle hallway well-lit, and then having no lights on in the warehouse, and suddenly it looked so much better. You could instantly tell where the focal point was to me jumping out of the portal. So I went through and I redid some stuff uh, for the new type of lighting. I built up a support in the back for a flashlight to make the uh, edge of the portal really glow. And then I started taking some photos and I still wasn't really that happy with them, but it was looking a lot better. You knew the story of the photo instantly. You knew what the subject was. You knew what was happening. And you didn't really have to think about it that much. So I worked for a few more hours and got the lighting better to a point that I was kind of happy with it. But also, I had just kind of given up. I was tired. I was exhausted. Emotionally, I was just done. So I got some photos. They were decent, but I wasn't thrilled with them. But I figured they would work. I edited them. This doesn't actually have a whole lot of editing. Uh, mostly, all I had to do was brighten up the side characters, add a little bit of saturation in them so they stood out a little bit more so you could see Dr. Cyber, so you could see the scientist lady, so you could see the pile of hats uh, so they weren't just completely swallowed up in shadow. But beyond that, everything else is just lit practically, naturally with the flashlight and um, I had a blue light in my room that was shining on the build to kind of give that blue glow from the portal. Uh, within the room, the, the actual rim of the portal is all lit up with the flashlight in the hallway. It just shines on those pieces and really like sparkled and really, really worked a lot better than I actually thought it would. So I didn't need a whole lot of Photoshop work, but I spent some time, Photoshopped it, dropped it into a chat, sent it off to my friends, and I was very frustrated and just kind of done with the build. Uh, but they loved it. They really liked it. I got a lot of really good compliments about it. And on something that I was done with and I had given up on, I saw that people really enjoyed it. And it kind of gave me that extra push, that extra motivation to go back and improve on it some more. So I spent another couple more hours adjusting lighting, trying a few different things, retaking the photo four or five times, and eventually I got one that I really liked, and it still captured all the stuff from the first one, but the lighting was cleaner, crisper, particularly in the, the blue area. On the original one, the blue area was kind of muddled with some tinges of green and yellow, but on the new one, it was pretty much just blue, and it looked a lot better, a lot cleaner. So this was a really interesting project to work on because I loved working on it, then I hated working on it, and in the end, I loved working on it. Overall, I loved it. Um, but also, the vision I had in my mind was completely different than what the end product was, and yet, conceptually, it was basically the same. Uh, while the final product was going to look different, the concept was the same, the atmosphere, the mood was the same, 
but the design and the look was very, very different. So I was really happy with the encouragement that I got with my friends. So if you are working on stuff, send stuff off to different people, get their feedback. It can be absolutely instrumental. Usually they'll come back with, hey, I don't like this. This is something that you need to fix. Uh, the other thing you can see here is we look at the first photo and then the last photo, just the absolute difference that lighting can make. Obviously it's lit completely different, but the first one was so flat, so boring, and the last one is so dynamic and a lot more interesting. And honestly, it really focuses your eye on what the main subject of the photo is and kind of hides <laughs> the boring, less interesting parts of the build. So if you've got a build that isn't that amazing, sometimes you can still get a really good photo out of it if you light it in an interesting way. So never underestimate lighting, never underestimate the importance of feedback, and don't give up. Keep going back and trying stuff again and again because, like I said, I took the main photo 20, 30 times, kept trying, kept trying, and kept changing, always changing stuff until I got something to like. But anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed the look at this build, and until next time, Brick Ninja out.